Uh, my title of my presentation is uh, Conservation of Energy Through RTA Environmental Initiatives. Uh, while I was sitting uh, this morning, I had uh, a reflection in terms of uh, this presentation. And I'd just like to, to take a moment to, uh, to tell you about it. Uh, I think there's a challenge between energy conservation and the transportation sector. Uh, to give you an analogy, as the safety regulator for railways in the Emirates of Dubai, I'm often asked what would constitute a, the safest railway or a safe railway. The answer from purely a safety perspective is one that doesn't move and the wheels are welded to the track, i.e. it stays in a depot. This analogy is true for all means of transport because as soon as we start to move large pieces of mobile infrastructure, i.e. public transport, and interact with the public, risk becomes manifest. Of course, wherever practical, practical, we eliminate, we minimize, or we control the risk. But we also have to recognize that as a transport organization, we have to provide public transport as a public service. That is, that we have to achieve a balance between the risk and operational requirements. The same analogy is true for the energy conservation. We need energy to move public transport. If we don't, we cannot provide the public with a service. So our challenge in terms of the RTA is to provide public transport in an energy conservative manner while maintaining operational environmental considerations. We're very lucky in terms of we have our leader, Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Mohammed uh, bin Rashid al Maktoum, who's given us a vision in terms of where he wants Dubai to go. And he stated that Dubai is where the future begins. Under the Dubai government, we have what we call the Dubai Strategic Plan for 2015, and part of that affects the road and transportation infrastructure. So the RTA is committed to this plan, and we are committed to supporting development of roads and development of networks to provide the physical infrastructure so we can grow both socially and economically. We're also committed to providing an integrated roads and transportation system, and I think the Congress last week from the UITP, there was a resounding uh, success in terms of the delegates acknowledge that Dubai had achieved fantastic uh, growth in only a matter of a few years in the transportation sector. So from these goals that we derive our initiatives and our projects to deliver over this uh, five year period. Goal number uh, five obviously affects energy and energy conservation, it's uh, related to safety and sustainability. Uh, goal seven, advanced say RTA, goal that eight, asset sustainability, all connected with energy conservation as well. But also goal number two, which is very important to buy for people. So as a transport provider, we are also trying to move people away from cars and onto public transport. So it's our stated goal. So we're also, in that respect, we're also helping this energy conservation initiative. We have a corporate, we have a corporate social responsibility to maintain resources for energy conservation and lead energy conservation concepts in the government authority. So we are, as far as a, as a government authority, we're always working to, uh, with our uh, sister authorities also uh, under the Dubai government umbrella uh, to continue to look at energy conservation initiatives. And we have continual improvement in terms of optimizing our resources and our work environment. Coming back to that corporate picture I presented, it's also important that we recognize that RTE is a very large organization. We have something like 10,000 plus employees. I'm going to be in the next uh, few slides, I'll go into details, but basically that plan envisages, I mean, we have the policies, the teams, uh, our audit structure, the requirements, the awareness, uh, and also the awards and recognition we have. So I'll go into a bit more detail on that now. In February 2010, the RTA board, I'm sorry, the text is a little bit small on the, the slide, the RTA board approved what we call our RTA Corporate Health, Safety, and Environmental Policy. This policy basically committed all the operational agencies and corporate sectors of RTA to energy conservation and to environmental considerations through all facets of our uh, uh, scope of activities. So not just in operation, but as we design the system, as we construct the system, as we manufacture, and then as we operate, maintain the system, and also to a point of disposal. 